Woody's robot going towards the uh, IED. Remote controlled robots have been used by the U.S. military in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan to defuse explosive devices. T1000. Oh, Here's a scene from the movie The Hurt Locker. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice 155, huh? And in recent years, some local police departments have invested in the technology to investigate suspicious packages and cargo. But in Dallas, a potential first in the United States, the delivery of an explosive device by a robot that was used to kill the police shooting suspect, holed up in a garage. Negotiations to end the standoff had gone on for hours. We saw no other option but to use our bomb, bomb robot and place a device on the, its extension uh, for it to detonate where the suspect was. Other options would have exposed our officers to grave danger. Police have not released the details of their tactic, what type of robot was used, information about the bomb and how it was detonated, or if the robot was even present at the time of the explosion. He could be picking up evidence. Uh, he could be picking up uh, potential explosive devices. Endeavor Robotics says it has sold robots to several police departments in the Dallas area, but wasn't sure if their device was used Thursday night. Our whole purpose is to, to keep people at a safe distance from hazardous uh, conditions. We've seen that in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan with the IED threat. Robots are expensive, with some costing more than $100,000. But local police departments say the technology is well worth the cost. Before a uh, bomb technician had to climb into a suit, go down and take care of business, uh, where now we can use the robotic system. It's made the job so much better.